Padilla quickly reinstates seven anti-narcotic agents after finding no irregularities or wrongdoing in Jason Dumlau's buy bust. Seven anti-narcotics operatives from the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, Padilla, have been reinstated following a sting operation in Solzona Town, Ilocos Norte. The operation, conducted last Saturday, initially resulted in the agent's relief and investigation after allegations of misconduct arose, Philippine Star reported. However, the viral video, posted by a local radio station in Ilocos Norte, DZJC Axion Radio, was uploaded on February 7. Derek Carrion, spokesperson for the Padilla, stated that following an internal investigation which uncovered no irregularities or misconduct, the seven agents have been cleared and reinstated to their duties. Carrion emphasized that the agents had been absolved and are now back in service. The decision to investigate and relieve the agents came from Padilla Director General Moro Lazo, prompted by complaints regarding evidence handling in the arrest of Jason Andres Dumlao, 32. However, no details regarding how the investigation was conducted or what findings were uncovered have been released to the public. Allegations arose that evidence, including Shabu and Bybust money, had been planted. Dumlao was apprehended at his workplace as a charcoal maker in Barangay Nalison, Solzona town, with a viral video capturing the arrest. The footage showed Dumlao on the ground, being read his Miranda rights, while an ungloved Padilla agent appeared to produce a sachet from his pocket. Under that Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002, RA 9165, planting of evidence is punishable by life imprisonment. Carrion emphasized that there was no evidence planting, citing the results of the internal probe. He challenged Dumlao's camp to contest the findings in court. Despite assertions of innocence, Dumlao has been indicted for drug sale by the Ilocos Norte Provincial Prosecutor's Office. The Facebook page of Padilla Region 1 had previously labeled Dumlao as the top three regional target personality in the entire Ilocos region, despite certifications indicating no prior criminal record related to drugs, Philstar reported. Padilla Director General Lazo expressed empathy for Dumlao's situation, whose child is hospitalized in Batac City, Ilocos Norte. But as they say in law, law applies to all, otherwise none at all, he said.